Occasionally, it's possible to find discordant data with a low gradient, small effective orifice area, and a calculated low flow rate, yet the left ventricular function is apparently normal. This situation reflects low flow, low gradient aortic stenosis with preserved ejection fraction, or, as it's tended to be referred to, paradoxical low flow, low gradient aortic stenosis. As previously described, it's really important to reassess all measurements before choosing a diagnosis of paradoxical low flow, low gradient aortic stenosis. The low flow state is thought to arise due to the presence of hypertrophy leading to a small ventricular cavity size. Hence, there will be a small total ventricular blood volume that results in reduced blood flow across the valve despite the presence of possible severe stenosis and a normal ejection fraction. The patient will usually have high blood pressure in this situation. When considering low flow, low gradient aortic stenosis in the presence of a preserved ejection fraction, it's important to exclude measurement errors and severe hypertension. Once this has been done, further assessment incorporating clinical findings and additional imaging is recommended to judge whether severe aortic stenosis is actually likely to be present in this situation. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.